All right, good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, Memphis, Tennessee, for those of you who are keeping track geographically. We see, again, some very quiet conditions for right now. We do have, again, some decent amounts of humidity out there. We'll continue to see that throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for getting outdoors, definitely want to consider an extra bottle of water just to be on the safe side because it is going to be, again, relatively steamy across much of the Mid-South. If you have any plans for outdoors, go ahead and keep them, but be ready again for the possibility of seeing some showers and thunderstorms out there that could be a bit of a problem into later on this afternoon. And that again, remember when thunder roars go indoors, it's going to be one of the best things that you can possibly do for safety's sake out there as we see again that potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms over the course of the next couple of days. We again see uh, not much to show you in the way of major amounts of problems with the forecast. And over the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing again the nicer, cooler weather into portions of the Mid-South. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Currently in the area, give me just one second to welcome in our Facebook viewers. 10,000 pencils around here have one when I need it. Okay, let's see if that works for right now. Probably going to lose Facebook here in just a little bit as per usual. So we'll see if this helps to stick around for just a little bit. Nobody joining in on the festivities just yet. If you are just getting up and joining us, again, pretty quiet for the time being, but we will be seeing the possibility of some more changes coming our direction throughout the rest of the weekend. Again, thanks to everybody for joining us. Forecast information down here for the Mid-South area. Social media information here, here, and there on the screen. So that'll get you an idea as to uh, what's going on in the Mid-South area for what's happening in and around portions of the Mid-South for right now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's happening in and around the area where it comes to radar, which unfortunately at this point in time to cool us off does not amount to much. We're looking at more chances of showers and thunderstorms developing later on this afternoon, but as of right now, again, little if anything really taking place just yet. So we continue again to see the possibility of some more areas of showers and thunderstorms later but just not again immediately. So keep the forecast out there. Uh, keep the umbrella handy just to be on the safe side, just in case for later on today for more coming up throughout the rest of the day today. Excuse me just one second here as I let everybody know what's going on with what's happening across the area so everybody else can join in and see what's happening. Again, currently seeing little, if anything, happening at this point. And where did my internet go. Okay, good. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on across the world, way back up here into around portions of Canada. We've got an area of low pressure diving on down into around the area close to the Pacific Northwest. That is the sign of things that are starting to change for us into the near future, which is definitely good news as we head into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. We see again that potential for more areas of cooler weather heading our way, and it's about time that happens. In the meantime, high pressure remains in control over the southeastern United States and not seeing again a lot of anything changing just yet. Let's take a look out into the tropics and show you that we have two storm systems now to talk about. What's left of Jose is just wandering around the northwest Atlantic, not expected to be that much of a problem. Lee is a tropical storm and once again it's expected to be just kind of wandering its way around the central Atlantic uh, as a tropical storm, possibly a hurricane by Tuesday, but once again it is well away from the United States, so good news on that. Maria is is still a dangerous Category 3 hurricane, but the good news is it's expected to be dwindling to the next few days. By Tuesday, it should be just a hurricane. The only problem we see with this is that as of right now, it's going to be coming very close in some of the computer models, notice that hatch, hatched area right there. Some of them take the, the forecast of the track of the storm very close to the outer banks of the Carolinas and toward Chesapeake Bay. Now, it could just as easily curve farther out to the east and remain over the ocean between the east coast and Bermuda, but this is something that needs to be watched. If you're heading anywhere from, say, uh, eastern North Carolina all the way up through the Delmarva Peninsula, New Jersey, Philadelphia, D.C., Baltimore, and that area, you should watch this storm very carefully because it could still cause problems and maybe evacuations as we go into the course of the next couple of days. 
in those particular areas, so something to think about there. Temperatures in the Mid-South at this time, again, no real good news here. We've got uh, temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 70s. Weather station in Bartlett recording 82 degrees already for this morning, and we'll continue to see some very warm numbers across the rest of the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the day. Now, these are just the temperatures out there. If we take just a second to switch over for just a minute, Give me one second here, and we'll go for the heat index numbers. Yes, we still have to talk about those even in the middle of autumn, and it already feels like the lower to mid-80s across a good portion of the Mid-South so far. Currently on WeatherNet 3 Live, real-time on your side weather, showing temperatures out there back into the mid-70s and even a few upper 70s out there. Millington, you're still pretty cool out there at 69.8 degrees as of 8.30 this morning, so not doing too bad. More of our weather bug stations available at wreg.com slash weather, and then clicking on the WeatherNet stations right there. Looks like my JavaScript or my Flash is not working too well, so we'll have to get that taken care of a little bit later. Currently, again, we've got a storm system making its way through the Plain States. Severe storms possible from Texas all the way into and around the upper portion of the Midwest. Not that much going on for us, except for the possibility of maybe some stray showers and thunderstorms, most of those over the Tennessee River Valley to northeast Mississippi. Welcome to everybody who's joining us on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter. Glad to have you along for the ride. Got questions? Drop them into the comment section, and I'll be glad to have you uh, ask any questions for out there. Currently not seeing any problems for the seven-day outlook, according to the National Weather Service in Memphis. Very quiet there. And again, that storm system out west is not going to do much to move our direction just yet, but we will see increasing chances of those showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the day today and again into tomorrow. Maria is not going to have any impact on our weather thanks to high pressure doing a very good job of keeping things very calm, stable, and unfortunately dry across much of the Mid-South area. Currently into the weekend, again, temperatures will be back into the lower to mid 90s and chances of showers and thunderstorms greatest around Tupelo, east of Jackson, south of Clarksdale and Oxford. That's about as good as it gets there. Low temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 60s to lower to mid 70s. High temperatures on Sunday, again lower to mid 90s, so not much of anything changing at this location and that chance of showers and thunderstorms remaining in the mid-south area. Sunday night lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s with those isolated, very isolated early chances of showers and thunderstorms and high temperatures on Monday, once again pushing 80 degrees. This, what I'm going to show you here, is a what's called a meteogram. This one from Iowa State University, and the great opportunity about this is to study plots of data that show you, again, what's going on with the forecast, whether this one on temperatures or wind speeds or snowfall amounts or whatever. Notice it's still pretty warm here for the first few days, but then as we get into the next several days, the numbers really start to take a tumble and things are looking much nicer as we head into the later portion of next week. We'll take a look at the uh, seven-day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. The world is going to be destroyed again today, supposedly, but uh, as of 8.30 this morning, hasn't happened yet. Great article uh, from Forbes magazine regarding a mysterious non-existent planet called Nibiru, which is supposedly coming again today to destroy the planet at the same time that a lot of other stuff is supposed to be happening. But as of right now, there is no planet in Nibiru. There's nothing available out there to suggest any evidence of that. So as of right now, does not show that we're going to be getting anything in the way of an end of the world scenario with Nibiru smashing into the planet or grazing the planet or whatever else you want to know about that. If you'd like to know more details, check out my page, especially this article from Bad Astronomy's Phil Plate, a great article to talk about on Sci-Fi Wire. Uh, will the Earth be destroyed this Saturday? Hint, no. And talking about why and how and stuff like that as to what's going on, especially the positions of the stars and the planet in regards to what's going on with a supposed prophecy happening at this point in time. Again, so nothing can happen with Nibiru because it doesn't exist. So if you'd like to know more about that, that's available on my Facebook page as well as many other locations out there. So drop by facebook.com slash WREG3 uh, on our main Facebook page and on facebook.com slash AustinOnic WREG. More on my Twitter page as well, twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3. Also on Google Plus if you'd like to stop by on that. And also on my Periscope page, 
tons of great information available there. Let's take a quick look at our seven-day forecast, which again has more possibilities of some nicer weather toward the end of the week. Nothing immediate, though, coming our direction anytime soon, so just not really seeing too much of anything here to help us with cooler weather. But by next weekend, things are looking much more improved and no major problems being seen out there as we head into, again, next weekend. Until then, we are going to be kind of stuck in the broiler. It's not, again, heat wave territory, but it sure is feeling a little bit on the hot side out there. So a little steamy for the next few days, and things will be improving as we get into the course of this next weekend. We'll talk more about that on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Pick up my forecast. If you can't watch online because you're away from your computer or on air because you're out and about, join us on the radio, East Arkansas Broadcast Network Stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Be glad to keep you updated on your weather forecast. And, of course, I'll be on back again with Bob and Josh bright and early on Monday morning. i got to hop back out on set for the last segment of Daybreak where we'll talk about Nibiru and the non-existence of it, and more on your complete forecast as well. Again, detailed information available at wreg.com slash weather, and more details on your forecast coming up throughout the rest of the weekend. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us for this afternoon and into this evening. Again, more forecast information throughout the rest of the weekend, live and direct from News Channel 3, on air and online. Thanks for joining us on Saturday morning.